some important tips for hair care for finding out the type of hair with the help of tissue paper test you can follow that steps wash the hair with the shampoo a day before take a tissue paper and press it on the center of the head and behind the ears if you find oil on the tissue paper it means you have oily hair otherwise your hair is is dry remember hair again you do not rub the tissue paper on the head but you just press it on the head a tissue paper test combined with a careful look at the hair can tell the type of hair you possess usually a normal skinned person possesses normal hair likewise a dry skinned person possesses dry hair people having oily skin tend to have oily hair too if you have oily head and dry ends then you have combination hair having been armed with the knowledge of particular hair type you may possess treat your hair accordingly normal hair it is shiny yet not greasy and fairly easy to manage it flies about a little the day after being set but it soon settles down and looks good for about a week oily hair looks good for a day or two after shampooing but then quickly become lank groups of hair cling together in unattractive strands and the head looks dirty if often has a problem of dandruff dry hair it is difficult to control dry hair after shampooing looks dull and has ends that are dry and spilt the head too feels dry and sometimes itchy dry hair breaks off very easily sometimes there are dry flakes of skin around the hairline combination hair it is the combination of both greasy and dry hair it is usually fairly long and the hair nearest the head is greasy while the ends are dry after shampooing the hair looks good ex- except for the ends ends are difficult to set smoothly split and lighter in color than the roots but by the time hair needs shampooing again ends look quite good tips for hair care eat plenty of protein containing foods fresh fruits and vegetables cut down on fried foods starches and sugary foods wash hair once a week with a shampoo have hair trimmed every 4 or 5 weeks to get rid of split ends and have the hair styled use a soft nylon brush or comb do not use elastic bands but rather the covered variety for example ruffles do not brush hair when it is wet but use a smooth edged white tooth comb increase blood circulation and the blood supply to hair roots with massaging massage at least once a week but massaging is not recommended for very oily hair remedy the effects of sunshine pollution and other damaging agents by conditioning the hair once a week since roots of the hair produce sebum they get enough conditioning hence conditioner need be applied only at the ends of long hair protect your hair from the sun by covering your head with a scarf or a dupatta if you go swimming along rinse salt water or chlorine out of your hair straight away then shampoo and condition a conditioner lotion for your hair is a good answer for keen swimmers use a conditioner on damaged hair or rub in warm olive oil or a wax cream then wrap your head with a polythene bag tie it with a scarf and leave it for as long as you can overnight if possible after the age of 40 wax or oil your hair once a week it will bring back the luster in your hair hina treatment restore the shine to dull hair 
avoid back brushing and combing never over wash your hair because this strips the hair of its natural oils normal hair wash once a week with shampoo apply a little shampoo on the head rub in well with the tips of your fingers then allow the shampoo to run down the hair length do not rub the ends of the hair vigorously if the hair occasionally looks as though it needs a conditioner mix yolk of 2 eggs in a cup of lukewarm water and beat together massage it on the head then cover your hair with a polythene bag and leave it on a place for 10 minutes after this rinse the hair with lukewarm water then shampoo it oily hair wash it just before it starts feeling sticky once in 3 days if left unwashed for long it may cause spots on the face and back choose a lemon based shampoo and pay particular attention to the head when massaging the shampoo rinse it thoroughly dry hair shampooing once a week is the need for this type of hair rinse the conditioner off very thoroughly to avoid stickiness follow this treatment once in 15 days palm 2 tablespoons of olive oil and massage on the head cover your hair with a polythene bag cover the bag with a warm towel in a turban like fashion leave it so for half an hour then rinse away thoroughly and shampoo your hair in the normal way If your head is dry to do the massage cup your hands with finger a little apart and press the pads of your finger hard on your head massage gently and firmly moving the head itself not your fingers combination here wash as soon as you feel your hair itchy and dirty do not rub the shampoo on the dry ends instead massage the shampoo on the head and let a uh, little of it run through the hair afterwards use the conditioner on the ends only have the dry ends trimmed regularly brushing and combing always brush hair when it is dry brushing wet hair causes the ends to split to brush hang your head down and brush away from the head first while brushing tilt your head forward this increases the blood supply to the head and stimulates the hair brushing distributes the hair's natural oil along the hair fine hair needs a softer brush which doesn't scratch the head very thick long hair needs a bigger comb but brush with stiffer bristles short or curly hair needs a narrow brush with a longish rectangular head and bristles widely spaced in groups never use a sharp teeth brush they tear the hair apart use a comb in which the teeth are widely spaced for thick hair and for combing wet hair the easiest way to comb out knots is to start at the ends and work gradually upward shampooing brush or comb hair thoroughly to loose dirt and dead skin cells from the head wet the hair with the spray so that the underneath layers as well as the top once are saturated with water pour a small amount a teaspoon of shampoo in a little water mix it get a diluted mixture massage this diluted shampoo gently on the roots with the fingertips covering the entire head with the flat surface of the hand work that shampoo into the bulk of the hair over the top layers rinse the rinse with water until shampoo has been completely washed off repeat the sequence if necessary drying after shampooing wrap your hair in a towel and allow this to soak up the excess moisture soaking of water by towel is better 
because vigorous drying with a towel is harmful as it tends to snap the hair more easily and sp split more quickly and the hair becomes very stretchy after about 10 minutes remove the towel and comb the hair gently moving upwards go towards the head if the hair is combed from the head downwards tangles with built up on the way down and will reach the tugging stage very quickly dying